welcome back to another video and Cara Collecting Memories. If this is the first time you're checking out my channel, I'm a working mum of two amazing children and yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. I'm here to just have a quick chat and show you guys how I'm packing for our first family overseas holiday, which I'm super excited about. We if you don't already know, we are going to Tokyo for nine days in six days time. Oh my gosh. So yes, first family holiday overseas. I have previously been to Japan before, but Luke, my partner has never been. The kids have never been. This is the first plane trip for Lucy. So yes, um, Jackson is six years old and Lucy is one. So it should be really interesting. Um, so that's the background information of the video. I thought I'd show you guys what we are packing for our trip and how I pack for our overseas trip with children. We, yes, as I said, we'll be there for nine days. Um, we are staying in Airbnb, so we have our own apartment. So bearing in mind, we do have a washing machine and dryer. So I'm not packing a hell of a lot of clothes because I know I'll be able to wash. Uh, what else should you know? It's summer over in Tokyo if you don't know already, so it's going to be hot and humid and probably rainy, but we don't mind. We come from far north Queensland and that's pretty much half of our year. More like 80% of our year is hot, humid and rainy, so that is the norm for us. It was the only time I could really get holidays from work and we got ridiculously cheap flights for this time of year because it's... I guess their down season over in Tokyo because most people go for the snow or the cherry blossoms. Not so much the heat and the rain, but we're going to make it work and we're going to have an awesome trip. So long ass intro, let's get down to the nitty gritty awesome stuff. The packing for four people in one suitcase. Yes, one suitcase. It can be done and I will show you how. Let's get to it. Hey guys, so here is the suitcase we're taking. Oh, and we've got little Baba Lucy helping us show you what's in it. Over here, we've got the clothes that we are obviously wearing on the plane. Everything I'm packing is obviously not in the suitcase. Um, my makeup isn't in there, neither is my hair curler. Just a few things that I'm currently using that I'm not going to be able to pack until like the day before. But otherwise, it's pretty much done and I'm pretty much sorted. And this is for four people, two adults, two kids for nine days in one suitcase. Plus a little gorgeous Bubba who's deciding that the suitcase is somewhere to, you know, have a relax. This is going to be interesting. But hey guys, this is mum life. And and yeah, Lucy, is he going to help us show everyone what's in the bag? You say, hi YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Oh, okay. You'd rather just show YouTube mummy's bras. Oh, okay. totally appropriate. So, baby has gone. Well, not gone, but not in the suitcase. Uh, as you can tell, first of all, I've got the kids' clothes in plastic bags. I got this great tip a little while ago when traveling with children, is that you put their whole set of clothes in a plastic bag. Then the set of clothes is all together. You don't have to rummage through them. And then once they're dirty, you can put them back in the plastic bag and it's not going to make everything else smell until you wash them. So I thought that was really great. It also folds down into the suitcase like really nicely. Um, I have five outfits and three pajamas for all of us. So yeah, let's kind of get to the nitty gritty stuff. So I'll just take all this out and show you guys. So this is all of my clothes. So I've got a nice pair of really comfy pants. I have a grey cardigan. Cardigan. Is, am I the only one who thinks that word is like really weird? Anyway, that's for, you know, if we go out for dinner and it's just a little bit coolish. I've got a singlet top here. Um, a pajama top, you know, super interesting. I've got some pajama pants. I've got a fancy skirt um, for when we go out for dinner. I'll just move all the kids aside. Um, just some plain t-shirts, shorts, a dress, another plain t-shirt and my overalls. Um, I've got my pajamas. I've got a nighty pajama pants there so that you can go back. I've got my uh, 
uh, aerial leggings to wear to Disneyland because why not? You're in Disneyland, you might as well just wear everything Disney. So I've got my pair of skinny light wash jeans because they're super comfy. I have, um, what is this? Oh, I've got a Mickey Mouse dress to, you know, wear to Disney. And I have another top and another pair of shorts. So all together, I think there's about five outfits. I might even have more. I might have more like six and three sets of pajamas. So we'll just nickel that. I'll just fold everything tightly. The smaller things I roll. So that's pretty much my clothing. Then the kids, we've got Lucy's clothes and mostly t-shirts and leggings. So I've got five packs for her and then three packs of pajamas. One, two. So they're all Lucy's clothes. And then I've got Jackson's. He's the same thing, mainly shorts and t-shirts. And he's got his back there and pajamas. Again, pajamas for Jackson. More pajamas and Lucy's clothes. So the middle section is all of the kids. And then on the side is Luke's. He's got a pair of denim shorts, about three t-shirts two pairs of 40s, a cricket shirt, don't ask me why, he's underwear down there, um, so all of his stuff, I think he might be chucking in some pyjamas, well shorts, he doesn't wear pyjamas, he just wears shorts to bed, so he's got to chuck in his short pyjamas, so we've still got like quite a bit of room, uh, and then over in this little pocket here, we've just got socks, my underwear, Jackson's underwear, and Lucy's socks. So just all of that kind of stuff. And then up here, we've just got my bra, and I'm wearing, oh, Lucy had one before, which she kindly showed you. Um, so yes, just taking two bras. Again, we're washing, don't worry people. And then I've just got our toiletry bag. I got this from Kmart. It's actually supposed to be a clutch, but I'm using it as toiletry bags. So I'm going to open it. Okay, so I just spewed my toiletry bag onto the floor. Of course, this is not my makeup and I need to get the shampoo out of the um, bathroom, but we just got some deodorant. We have a toothpaste. We just got a hairbrush, a razor, bath wash, Erigard. Mozzie repellent, um, mouthwash, Luke's cologne, Luke's deodorant. Um, so that's pretty much all that's in the toiletry bag at the moment. I've got to still put Lucy's wash and my shampoo and yeah, and obviously my makeup bag's in there. Oh my god, we've got a crying baby because she can't find me. This is real life, people. Real life. Real life. Oh my gosh. So yes, up here um, in the zipped areas where we're having the toiletry bag, um, Luke's pair of shoes and I've got a pair of sandals to go in there with um, them and Jackson's thongs <gasps> and yeah that's pretty much it we've just got the clothes all packed out what we're wearing on the plane we're wearing our heaviest stuff like Luke's wearing his jeans on the plane Lucy's um, wearing her jumper because it might get to be cold and yeah and they're wearing their shoes on the plane I'm wearing my Vans so super easy everything's included uh, we're buying nappies <laughs> when we're over there. Lucy doesn't drink formula so that's not a big deal. The kids will also have carry-on luggage so they're going to be carrying their toys and accessories onto the plane. Luke will have the laptop and all of the important stuff and all of the electronic stuff will be in my handbag. So this is just basically our clothes and our toiletries and what we're going to need for the week. So guys, you can pack for four in one suitcase. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm really sorry about the whinging baby. That's all you can hear. Oh, and mind my shoes. Um, but yes, I hope this gives you guys some tips when traveling. I will also do a separate video to what I am packing. Oh my gosh, this baby. Um, what I'm packing in the kids' carry-on luggage. So you have an idea of that. I'm going to rush away and I'll see you guys next time. Love you.